Welcome back. In this session, we're going to learn how to use grid data function. Let's see the documentation to perform two dimensional and three dimensional interpolation. That's very similar to interp2 and interp3, and that's a generalized version as grid data n. And because of the similarity, we just uh, use the grid data in, for example, three dimensional data with two inputs and one output. And they are the same. You can use this for three inputs and one output, and you can provide three query variables to get the output in three dimensional space. However, we use this just for simplicity, and we left the other types to you. But about the method, we have the linear nearest natural cubic and v4 methods here, and the linear and nearest. A cubic or useful but you can use the triangulation based natural neighbor interpolation which is available with the natural method here you can use this as well for this step we use the cubic and we'll with a pretty simple example so let's define let's create a m file here and let's do some clearing stuff here and Let's define some random points here. For example, x is uniformly distributed random numbers from minus three to three. And we have n rows in one column. And let's define n as 100. And just like it, we define y. And we define z or our output variable. We can define it as v and that's f of x and y and what's the f let's define x and y as this for example x minus y times my exponent of xp of minus x squared plus y squared and now we have some data points some data points scattered on three-dimensional space and you can use plot 3 to x y and v and that's it and if you, if you provide the o marker that's it you must turn on the grid to have a good presentation of data so let's plot 3 x y and v with R color and O markers and grid on and X label is X and Y label is Y and Z label is V and that's it the data is scattered in three-dimensional space and now we're going to interpolate it using grid data let's call the grid data on X y and v and x x and y y you can name it x q for query value of x and y q and that's up to you and we get v v as interpolated value of this and what's the x x and y y we can define x x and y y as mesh grid of minus three to three but with spacing for example 0 0.25 and let's check for this and we have a matrix yy and xx and the number of elements of all of them are 625 and vv is equal to those in number and we can plot the result using the mesh function mesh of xx yy and vv and let's move this to the top and then hold on and let's run okay the method used to interpolate the data is linear so let's use the cubic method here and rerun the algorithm and okay you see that the interpolation works well and we have a three-dimensional uh, presentation of our scattered data points here and that's what we want and you see that the grid data works well and grid data also is 
uh, available for three dimensional space to that's having three input variable and one output variable and also we have a version of this as you can see here at the end of page as grid data n which is for the n-dimensional data and x contains the values of inputs and xq contains the values of inputs as query vectors and that has a compact style to call and perform interpolation and i left it to you to test the grid data n as well and that's very very similar if you'd like you can call it in a way very similar to this code we just wrote okay in the session we finished the interpolation section and interpolation chapter of our series and in the next session we'll start another chapter